Welcome to Live and Let Fly. I'm Jimbo Jim, and this used to be a $4 length of PVC pipe. Now it's a 62 inch recurve bow. Let me show you how I made it. Someone bet me it couldn't be done in 60 minutes. He said it wasn't even possible with 80 minutes. I cut the pipe to length and marked the center of the bow. I made markings for the grip handle, a modern cutaway, and for recurve tips if time would allow. Aluminum foil helps speed up the heating process. It looks like I'm about to toast an extra long Subway sandwich. And we all know toast to taste better. Or was that Quiznos? Screws were put into the clamping boards to make sure it stops at a consistent thickness. I want this repeatable for both sides when clamping. When the second side becomes soft, the first side is cool. I steal the clamping board and repeat what you just didn't see on the other side. This is the taper I decided to go with. While waiting for side two, I reworked side one to help correct some of the straightness. The bow looks pretty straight. I wanted to incorporate a modern cutaway. This allows the arrow to travel closer to the center of the bow. I will be installing a 99 cent plastic adhesive arrow shelf after painting. These are great for new archers and at only 99 cents, they're great for people like me, cheapos. I should have used a wider board. I could have shaved some time, but as a wise man once said, oh well. The cutaway looked good. I wanted the tips to be pointed and tried cutting it by hand and spent a lot of time on this. A jigsaw would have been awesome. I cleaned everything up with a file and really wished I had used a belt sander. It was a really good arm workout. I heated the center to shape a comfortable grip for the handle. Unless you don't value your skin or hands, I recommend using a towel for this. I finished shaping my bow at 59 minutes and 37 seconds. My friend said I couldn't finish if he gave me 80 minutes, so I decided to spend an extra 20 minutes to form recurve tips with a paint can. Any round object will keep you consistent. I did some additional filing to touch up the edges. And used a round file to notch in the knocks with the string. I completed my recurve tips after 77 minutes. I tied up some 550 paracord and it was too short. I retied it slightly longer and the bow was finished and strung after 80 minutes and 44 seconds. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like what we do here on Live and Let Fly, my name is Jimbo Jim, please consider subscribing. If you want to check out our last video, where we built our own free DIY target bag, please click on this link. If you want to see the raw 80 minute footage of me making this bow, please click here. If you click anywhere else, it'll pause the video. You're probably wondering, 
Jimbo Jim, why would I build my own bow when I can go to the store and buy one off the shelf that's already made? It's so much faster, more convenient, and more accurately than your bow. And, well, Anyways, this is Jimbo Jim, and I'm out. Oh, now it's recording. This used to be a... Actually, pretty comfortable. Does this bowl make me look fat? <laughs>